Are you a new YouTuber or somebody looking to improve your thumbnail game? Well, this is the video for you, as today I'll be showing you how to create this style of thumbnail to help improve your views on your YouTube channel. Hello, hello, hello people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be recreating this Emma Hayes Football Manager 2021 experiment video. It's a very nice thumbnail. I think you'll agree. It does its job very, very well. It's got me very good views on my channel. So I'm very happy with it. And so I've had a few people asking about me doing thumbnails for them. And so I put a tweet out the other night asking if anybody would like a tutorial video. And well, there was some interest. So that leads us to where we are here but just before we do get into the video, two things. One, it is 30 degrees outside. God knows what it is in here with all my lights and my camera and everything and the computer and all that fun stuff. So if I look a bit sweaty, I do apologise. And two, if you do enjoy this video and if it does help you out, please, please, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel we're only nine away from 700 as i'm recording this so if we could hit that sometime soon that would be beautiful and so now yeah so we get into it so the first thing you want to do is you want to set up your canvas obviously and so I'm just going for a 1920 by 1080 pixels, normal YouTube style thumbnail size. So you have to just go on that and then click on create. And in any second now, that will bring up the background. So you've got it there, nice, blank, ready to go for everything. And so if we're going to recreate this Emma Hayes thumbnail, first things first is the tactics board just behind Emma Hayes's head so what you want to do first is what I what I would do is I would go into my images folder and then I would just grab this bit here and so grab this file Emma Hayes 442 but obviously whatever you're going to be using behind her and then just drag it onto the canvas it'll show up right in the center but I want to rotate it and I want it in the corner. So just make it something like something like that so you can see that it is a tactics board. But also what you want to do is you want to go filter and you want to go blur and Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur is a very nice blur effect. You don't want too much on it for this. I would say, yeah, about... A, Somewhere between 5 and 7.6, maybe a 6.8, something like that. Yeah, I think that looks decent. And so, next up, what you want is a picture of whatever stadium you want to use, or again, whatever image you are using. I've got Stamford Bridge there, so we're going here, and then you want to make sure that this one goes under goes under the last file and so we'll see why in just a second so you can see it there you can see it there you want this to cover up the whole rest of the screen but you also want it to go under the tactics board so otherwise if we went like that the tactics board would go so that's not any good and so once again you want to go filter, you want to go blur, Gaussian blur, maybe a little bit more this time because it isn't such a big bright image, not quite that much, maybe something like a 15 pixels or something, yeah something around there, I think that looks quite decent and so you can see already, we are already coming there a little bit and may maybe want to move it over a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks good. And so next up, 
what you want is you want your image of your person you're having in this particular thumbnail. And so once again, just go into your folder where all your images are saved. Well, actually, this time, this time before we do do that, you're going to want to go open for this one. Because if your image is anything like this one that I've got, you're going to want to do a selection on it. And so you want to go there, you want to go there. And then, yep, you just want to find your image. And then you can see here, this is a very, very nice photo of Emma Hayes. I, li I like how it's got her hair blowing in the wind. She's got a nice big smile on her face. She looks like a very, very nice, happy person. And that is kind of what you want in your images. And so if you want to do a selection on something like this, go to this image here. This one, that's one, two, three, four down. You want to click on that and then you want to go select subject and then that will just take a second or two and then you will see there'll be lines around her in a second if it ever decides to do it yep there you are if we do just zoom in you can just about make them out i think and so let's zoom out again and so now what you want to do is you just want to go back on the top selection and then you just want to left click, drag her out of the photo and then you want to go over to here and then, oh, what's going on there? That's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. And so come on, there you go. And then just drag and drop her into the image. And then again, just make it quite big. And as well, again, this time you want it, you want this one on top of the tactics board. And so if we go back to the other thumbnail, whereabouts did we have her? We had her a little bit higher up. So what you want to do is you want to go up, maybe like that. And so, yep, we've got that. So, yeah, I think that is starting to look pretty good. And so we can get rid of that one and we can get rid of that file. That was for another thumbnail I was doing. And so, yep, so that's looking pretty decent. Next up, we want the text. And I do like the text on this. It's bold, it's punchy, it's clear, it's everything you would want in a YouTube style thumbnail. So, text. Just go somewhere somewhere near her head. And then this text is nowhere near big enough at the minute. And so if I could type, that would be beautiful. So, yep, yeah, there we go. It's all looking a bit plain at the minute, but we are going to work on that any second. So maybe not quite that big. Maybe down to, yeah, something like that. And then what style did I use? I think I just used one of my presets. So yeah, there's that one. Or there's that one. I quite like it with the drop shadow, actually, now I've seen it. And so you've got Emma Hayes. And so what did I have under it? Chelsea Men's Manager. So you might want a little bit of a thicker stroke. So if you do, just double click on the layer on the right hand side click on where it says stroke and then size is obviously the size of the stroke i think yeah something around a 24 is a little bit better than what we had and so chelsea men's manager is what we had underneath it and so chelsea men's manager and obviously this one's a little bit longer so we're gonna want the font to be smaller maybe something around there is that gonna fit fit it all in yes it is and so we can just copy the layer style uh, filters and whatever from this particular from the emma hayes layer so we're going copy layer style chelsea men's manager and then paste layer style just right click on the emma hayes one copy and then paste on the other one so i think maybe that one goes back a little bit 
So, yeah, about there I like. And so now we haven't got that much longer left to go, really. Thumbnails really, really don't have to take that long. So next up, what you want to do is click under so you're not selected on anything and then go for the rectangle selection tool. And so if I can click on that, yep, and then rectangle tool. And now just drag it over the whole image. Drag it over everything. So you get it looking not like that, but we can change that. You want to go up to stroke. The blue bit is the stroke. So you want to go there, click on the little image next to where it says stroke. And then this one here up at the top on the left hand side with the red line going through it. Get rid of that. So now it just looks like that. It just looks like we've restarted. But don't worry, we have not. We're going to go opacity and then we're going to bring it down. And so we maybe want it uh, not like that. We want it under. We want it under pretty much all of that. Yeah, I think that is good. I think that is looking pretty much how we had it on the other one. And so, yeah, you could just leave it at that. That, I think, looks very good. But I like to have the extra information down at the bottom just so you can see, like, what is going on. And so now just one more rectangle just down at the bottom here and once again just do the same no stroke but this time we're gonna leave the opacity as it is i think or do we want it down a little bit no we're good how we are i reckon and so first things first just get just get my logo which is somewhere else i really should have thought about that before i started this video but oh well it's only down there bad jokes channel graphics and then, oh, nope. You can see it big there. Nice big version of my logo. And now you want this on the left hand side of the thumbnail. And so, yeah, I think that, I think that looks decent. You could put a stroke around this just to make it stand out a little bit more. Or a drop shadow, maybe. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a massive fan of Drop Shadow. But I, maybe it might be useful here. Yeah, maybe. Let's see if we can maybe change the angle. No, I think... I think... Well, I don't know, actually. Yeah, maybe something like that. But maybe make it a little bit bigger. No, I think we're good like that. So, we've got that, and then what else did I have in the other corner? It was a Chelsea badge, wasn't it? So, you want the Chelsea badge again. And so, just one second, people, just while I get back onto the correct folder. Thumbnail video, where is it? There it is. And then Chelsea. And then that just goes in the other corner. Not a very nice badge. It's not exactly a West Ham badge, is it, people? Although I haven't said that, I, I did. I did once. Ugh, I did once have, have a job interview at Stamford Bridge. Didn't get it, unfortunately. But oh well. And so maybe we want the same drop shadow for this one. So again, right click on the logo, the logo layer file, and then go copy layer style. Click on Chelsea logo, and then once again just paste. So yeah, I think that looks decent. And now, just to finish it off, you just want text. And so, yep, yeah, Football Manager 2021 experiment. And so, football, oh, it's in white, so. So, right then, so what you want to do in this case is just double click on the text and then go up to this square in the top corner. And then you just want to go black. So you want to do this the opposite of how the um, the top text is. And so I've typed that horrifically in, in invisible. And so foot ball manager. 
but we are still going to want to copy the layer style from the top text and you'll see why in a minute because we've got what one two three four five styles there so it's quicker just to copy that go on to the text we have just written and then go paste and so it looks horrible but it's a lot quicker to change one layer style rather than all five so just go into the layer styles go to where it says stroke and so we have that actually that's that's not looking the same as how i had it in the other one that's white text on a black background on a black stroke okay then okay so my so sorry i was right so you want to go back 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 and so you want to change that back to white but then you do want to go paste layer style so yeah now you can see it but you do want a space so that does just look like one very long word you would get top score on countdown if football manager was all one word and so yeah we've got that and now one last text style and then you just want x experiment and then once again just paste the layer style and that is us pretty much done i think i think we might want that bottom one have i spelled experiment wrong i think i have e x p e r e r so other than that so e x p e r i m e n t yep so you might want that text to be a little bit bigger so just click on it and then once again just up here on the right hand the right hand side maybe not 140 maybe like 130 120 odd 126 and then just bring it down a little bit so yeah i think that looks decent so we are so yeah i think maybe actually bring that down to about 110 yeah 113 and we are done people Actually, actually, no. One, one last thing. Chelsea put the logos for, for put the two logos up at the top. No, we want them underneath. So yeah, that is us done, people. That is how to make a pretty good, a pretty good football manager twenty twenty one, um, experiment thumbnail in under fifteen minutes or just about fifteen minutes. So, yep, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If this has helped you, drop a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2021 content. Maybe more thumbnail tutorials if you are interested. And if you're interested in getting me to make thumbnails for you, please get in touch on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time.